Yo. What's good, YouTube Mass Clutch? We back out with another video, man. Today's video, I got you guys with this new rare slashing playmaker build in NBA 2K24. Now, this actually is a pretty rare build right here. A lot of people I have seen have dropped a lot of videos on the two-way slashing playmaker, but for some reason, I haven't really seen many builds on the slashing playmaker. So today, I got you guys with a pretty good version. So let's get straight into it. This stuff right here personal preference and then in order to get the build name it can only be made at three positions point guard power forward or center you cannot make it a shooting guard or small forward i'm gonna go point guard but you also could make like a 6-8 power forward or 6-8 center slashing playmaker if you wanted to I'm gonna go 6'6". Six, six. If you wanna go small guard, you definitely could. 6'7 is actually the tallest at point guard, so just keep that in mind. I went 6'6", six, six, 198, and then I did max the wingspan out. Unfortunately, in order to get this build name, your three-point shot cannot be anything higher than a 77, so I did max the wingspan out. So go 6'6", six, six, 198, max wingspan. All right, moving on to the actual build, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. So I am going to start off with the physicals first. So I did go ahead and max out my speed to an 82. Of course, that will give us that gold hyperdrive. I did max out my acceleration to an 87. That will give us gold blow by and gold speed booster. I did put my strength to a 55. That will give us bronze clamps and bronze fearless finisher. And then for vertical, my driving dunk is actually going to be pretty high. It's actually going to be a 94. I was going to say, you don't have to go this high if you don't want to. I'm pretty sure it does have to be at least like an 87 for the pro contact dunks off a of two. If you just want to go 87, go ahead. But I went 94. Those animations do require an 82 vertical. And then I did go 96 stamina for the gold handles for days. All right, now that the physicals are done, let's get straight into making this build. Now we are a slashing playmaker, so I will go ahead and start off with finishing first. All right, now driving layup. I did put this to a 77. I think 77 is really all you need because at 77, you do get that gold float game. If you do floaters, that's a really nice badge to have. And at 76, you do get gold scooper, another really OP layup badge and silver acrobat. I did go 77. If you wanna go higher for like some layup packages, you definitely could. I just went 77. In my opinion, I think that was the best in terms of badges. And then driving dunk, like I said, at least go 87. This will give you the pro contact dunks off of two. I did go 94. 94 is really insane. It does give you elite contact dunks off of two. And at 94, you get that Hall of Fame Slithery, which is really OP. You get Gold Posterizer, Precision Dunker, Aerial Wizard, Bunny, Whistle, Spin Cycle, and Two Step, which is pretty nice. You pretty much almost have every single contact dunk besides the elite contact dunks off of one. And then I did go 40 staying dunk. That does unlock two hand basic standing dunk packages. Our lowest standing dunk is a 39 with this driving dunk. So you might as well just go 40. All right, moving on to shooting. Now mid range shot, you'd probably think since you can't go above 77 three ball, you probably assume can't go above 77 mid range. That's actually not the case. You can go higher than that if you want to. If you want to go like 84 for that um, gold mini magician, that's a pretty good threshold. I did go 86 though. It does give you that gold open looks and I did go 76 three ball. Like I said, 77 is the maximum, but in terms of badges, there's really no point in going 77. You don't get anything for that. I went 76 for the bronze agent and you also get silver corner specialist. I went 86 mid range. It is nice having that mid range, of course. Once you do have the higher mid range, you will unlock way better jump shot bases and releases. As you guys see, the higher your mid range is, the better badges you get. Plus, you also do get that gold open looks, which does help you make wide open jump shots. It definitely will help to have that badge on gold, especially since you only have a 76 three ball. Here's all the badges you get. As you guys see, pretty solid badges, even though you only have a 76 three. Having that high mid range is really nice. If you wanna go higher, definitely could. And I went 69 free throw. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the free points badge, but I think that's more than enough. 
All right, now moving on to playmaking, pass accuracy. Since we are a playmaker, a slashing playmaker, your pass accuracy does have to be at least an 87. If you go 86 and below, I'm pretty sure it will just call you a slasher or like a mid-range slasher or something like that. So in order to get this build name, Slashing Playmaker, your pass accuracy does have to be at least an 87. If you want to go higher, definitely could. 87 is just the bare minimum for that bronze bailout. And here's all the other badges you get. Pretty solid badges. And of course, we are a 6'6". So you definitely do want to take advantage of the 92 ball handle and 83 speed ball. This will give you gold blow by, gold speed booster, gold unpluckable, silver killer combos, gold handles for days, ankle breaker, triple strike, and at 92 ball handle, you will unlock pretty elite dribble moves. And then of course, go 83 speed ball that will give you all your gold badges. You also could go 93 ball handle that does give you gold killer combos and hall of fame ankle breaker definitely could do that i just went 92 83 and 87 pass accuracy now moving on to defense with this build now this is the regular slashing playmaker it's not the two-way i already did drop a video on the two-way slashing playmaker if you did want to check that out I only went 75 perimeter defense. I think that's definitely more than enough. That will give you that bronze clamps, bronze challenger, ankle braces, fast feet, pick dodger, workhorse, and silver off ball pest. In my opinion, I definitely do think this is more of a threes build. This is definitely not bad. Most other threes guards don't even have any defense at all. So even having a 75 perimeter is definitely better than nothing. And then for some reason, it does make you pull your offensive rebound to a 26 in order to complete the build. But as you guys can see, here's pretty much the build, the slashing playmaker. As you guys see, pretty solid build. You could maybe take it to the twos, but I would say this is probably a better build for like rec or threes in my opinion do have really good ball handling good pass sack good shooting only a 76 three ball but like i said it cannot be anything higher than a 77 if you go 78 or above it changes the name so i did go 86 mid-range so we do get a lot of good badges and better jump shots in order to balance out having a low three-pointer we do have a really high driving dunk but like i said you don't have to go that high if you don't want to that will give us elite contact dunks off of two and then we do have really good physicals 82 speed for gold hyperdrive good excel for the gold speed booster good strength good burt and good stamina pretty solid build right here and as you guys can see this build does have shades of kenny smith De'Aaron fox and spencer dinwiddie like i said this build is called a slashing playmaker pretty rare build name right there for some reason like i said i haven't seen too many people drop a video on the regular slashing playmaker i've only seen two-way slashing playmakers but yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think about this build in the comment section below if you guys have any other builds you guys would like me to make a video on please let me know i really would appreciate it make sure you guys do drop a like subscribe if you're new and i'm out